Well, today we're going to rock the boat. We're going to talk about something controversial, something that I have okay. not heard of anybody talking about yet. And the topic is, are there too many RVers on YouTube? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ho ho. There are hundreds of RV channels on YouTube. Yes. But is that too many? What do you think? I think it is a heavily saturated market. <laughs> That's the politician answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, for me, I think um, no, not yet, but I think we're no. close. I think we're close Yeah. on saturating it. And here's here's the the joke that we tell each other is when you go and buy an rv yeah, they uh, issue you an R, uh, a, a, a youtube, YouTube channel, channel. <laughs> <laughs> which it seems that way because it, it, it seems did like, yeah. a lot last year it seemed yeah. like everybody's getting an rv boom rv channel starting a channel right yeah so there's a lot of way more than when we started yeah there it, uh, i don't know if it's because we're in it now yeah. that we're seeing it maybe it's always been that way and we're just noticing it yeah. since we've been in it or it's just picked up recently. Which makes it more difficult uh, for us to sift through it and kind of figure out who we want to watch, watch. Because there's just so many to choose and, from. And time is limited to watch. It is. Because we can't watch YouTube all day. Yeah. We have to make our own videos. So yeah. you have to be picky in who you watch. Absolutely. We'll talk more about that here in a second. But um, So here's the things that the RV niche on YouTube has against it. Okay. Uh, the first thing is it's not a big niche. Mm -hmm. on YouTube. YouTube itself is it's, ginormous and yeah. the RV niche is about this big. So yeah. when you talk about how many viewers live in that in that little square, yeah. it's not very many in okay. comparison to the grand scheme of things. Yeah. So you only have so many viewers that are even going to be interested in anything yeah. RV. Yeah. The other thing is that inside the RV niche there's so many sub niches. Yeah. You got you know, how to's and off grid and solar and van life and schoolies nice. and RVing with kids and pets and you know all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, branches out. So you know, some channels hone hone in right on very specific sub niches, yeah. and some kind of do like a broad thing where sometimes they do travel, sometimes they do RV stuff, sometimes they you know talk about you know nutrition on the road and dieting and cooking in your RV and all yeah. that stuff. So, sure. so there's a lots of different stuff. The problem is if you are more diverse and you have different subjects, um, it's harder to grow because YouTube doesn't know who to suggest so, those videos to. It's kind of all over the place. Yeah. And so that's kind of why we took longer to grow too is because we kind of do a little bit of everything instead of like honing in on just, just RV stuff or just travel stuff. We're kind of broad. doing a lot of stuff, but that's the way we wanted to do it. Yeah. Um, another thing that the RV niche has going mm -hmm. against it in, in, on YouTube is um, it doesn't grow much. The, the, the pool of viewers doesn't grow much. And the reason why is because I think there's a life cycle of viewers. Yeah. Because it's like the evolution, okay, I'm interested in RVs. I'm gonna start looking at that stuff on YouTube. Now I get an RV, now I go RVing either part-time or full-time or most-time or whatever for several years and then you don't do it anymore yes. and now you're not a viewer of the RV niche anymore. So yeah. I think that the evolution of that viewer is born lives for a while and then it's gone it's life cycles yeah sure. so there and there is more people coming in you know in yeah. in but it's just harder because of the turnover rate of the viewership i think sure gotcha um so who do you watch i, I don't know it's a hard decision to make yeah um and so in the grand scheme of things in the rv niche there's only there's only a handful of channels that are over 10,000 subscribers. There's not very many. That we're tracking. Yeah. yeah. And there's even less than that that are over the 100,000. I can probably count on one hand of 100,000 plus <laughs> subscriber famous. count in the RV niche. And 100,000 in, in the YouTube world is not big. No. That's not a big channel. No, not in, <laughs> in the big pool of yeah. YouTube. But in the RV niche, 100,000 is a big deal. Very big deal. So it, it so now we're going to talk about kind of how hard it is to to make it in the RV niche. Okay. Now, I don't I don't know what you consider making it. 
But yeah. I will tell you this. To give you an idea, there are, as of recently, I looked it up, there are 51 million channels on YouTube. God. Total YouTube. Jeez. 51 million that's channels. There are 2 billion viewers. So that's a lot of people watching YouTube that's every day. But watching. how do you get those... Two billion to watch your stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah, not all of them are interested in it's RV life. <laughs> difficult, and I'll tell you this statistic, which will probably blow your mind, blew me away. Yeah, ninety-six percent of those fifty-one million channels are have less than ten thousand subscribers. Hmm. So if you have over ten thousand subscribers, you're already in the top four percent of YouTube total. So you're doing pretty good in the RV niche if you're over ten thousand, I think. Yeah. Um, and then if you go and look at the one thousand subscriber statistics 84 percent of the channels on youtube have less than 1000 subscribers okay. so really if you have made it to your monetization if you've made it to your 1000 subscribers it's a big hurdle you're already in top 16 percent <laughs> youtube wide and so to but it's even more difficult to get those thousand that ten thousand that hundred yeah, thousand in painful. the rv niche yeah. than is youtube total yeah. so your chances of making it big depending on what you say is big. But either way, your chance of making it big yeah. are very slim. Yeah. It's kind of like playing baseball in college and hoping you go pro. pro. <laughs> Most are not gonna. You know, and it's analogy. just the nature of yeah. the beach. Um, so you really, if you're thinking about doing this, you really have to take into consideration what you want to get out of your channel. Yeah. So there's ways to just blow up and grow fast and just get huge. Um, but is it fun? Probably not. Well, to, to some people it is. <laughs> yeah. Like the how-tos, that will grow you fairly quick. Yeah. We don't find that fun. Not Because we're not how-to people. Mm -mm. But people who are gifted in that ability yeah. find it fun. Yeah, and then the, the solar, the boondocking, all that stuff. Yeah. Those people, they grow fast because there's a lot of interest in that in the yes. RV niche. But we're not going to do it. No. Because it's not our thing. No. Um, but... So you got to kind of figure out, are you doing this for fun? Are you doing this to document, you know, historically what you what you did during your travels? Are you doing it for a cause like we do? Yeah. You know, to give back to veterans while we're on the road? Are you trying to replace your income? Like, yeah. what are you trying to do? And that's where you got to figure out, okay, you figure out what your goal is first, and then you kind of your figure out. goal. Yeah, and then you kind of figure out your workload. Yeah. Based on that. True. If you want to replace your income, you can put in some work. Yeah, you got to be willing to put it in the work. Yeah, you're going to go through hours and hours and hours of editing. It's going to be like a full-time job. If you want to replace your income, you have to put in full-time income hours <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to <no>. do that. <laughs> not I'm not. not doing that. No, we're not doing um, that. But um, if you're just doing it for fun, that's great. Mm -hmm. If you're just doing it to document, cool. You really don't really care about, you know, the stats and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so that's where, that's why I kind of say, I don't think it's full because not everybody's it's not a competition no not everybody's competing for that only the people who are trying to like replace their income or make this a business or profession, have a lot on the line yeah to doing it those people are competing yeah everybody else is kind of having fun yeah so that's why I say and now if if every RV channel was competing that'd be bad God. there'd be too many but because yeah. most are just out there having fun I don't think there's too many okay I get you yeah sure and there are some great channels out there mm -hmm. and then there's some not so great channels yeah. out there and so yeah i think you have to like self-evaluate too and kind of go all right we've been doing this for years and we still have 27 subscribers we're probably not <laughs> doing well probably not <laughs> i agree <laughs> You know, I want to think this through. Yeah, and they can't all be great, but hey, if if you have twenty seven subscribers and you're, you're doing it for three it. years, you're having fun. Keep rocking it, man! Heck Don't yeah. stop. And it doesn't matter how small your channel is. I guarantee you, you are someone's favorite. Yes. Someone yeah. tunes in to watch you every time you put a video out. Yeah, it, it may be in the RV world, it's the quality over quantity. Yeah. Like you want quality subscribers. More exactly. than just a bunch of subscribers who never really watch you. Yeah, and I think in the RV niche, more than any other niche, you have to take into consideration also that most people are doing this as couples. Most people are watching these videos as couples. They're both interested in RV. Yeah. Whereas other topics, you get like just 
the guy in the relationship or just the gal or yeah. one person in the relationship is watching this niche and another's watching this whereas I think yeah. the RV uh, industry it you know, on YouTube it gets a little um, deceiving because if you have 500 subscribers you really probably have closer to a thousand people watching watching even yeah. though your number only says 500 subscribers because yeah. you probably have a lot of couples yeah that are watching True. So it really Very doesn't, true. and you only get one view count for that. From both sitting there watching the TV, you get one yeah. view for that. Yeah. So that's kind of a, a thing that the Darby Niche has going against it also. True, yeah. Um, so I don't think it's full, but I think it's getting close. I think it's going to be yeah. harder for new channels to grow. Yeah, because I think coming so many. into it now, yeah. you got a little more of a struggle. Yeah, and I think because there's so many channels, the viewers are getting more picky about who they're watching. I mean, we've had to get a little picky on who we watch. Yeah. Where some people we we tried to watch religiously because of the stuff we do and making more friends and you're trying to watch their videos too. Yeah. Well, then some people it comes down to, well, maybe we'll just check in uh, a video a month you know, or if see something pops up that looks really super interesting, or, yeah. to watch it. or if somebody says, "Hey, did you see so and so's newest video?" I'll be like, "No, yeah. but that sounds cool. I'm gonna check that out." I will say it is more difficult being a consumer now that we are yeah. creators. Yeah, as we, have, we spend all of our time videoing ourselves and editing and yeah. taking care of our social media platforms, so we don't have as much time to really be on YouTube watching. And balance just a life in general. Exactly. You know our yeah. illnesses when they come up stuff with our kid yeah. and stuff other family issues and we have to be involved you know that slows us down puts us behind and i was looking for a stat i was trying to get an average of like the average viewer how many channels are they subscribed to i don't know that and i couldn't find no, that out there. so I, i'm curious leave us a comment let us know how many channels <laughs> you're subscribed to i'll go ahead and spill the beans and tell you we're subscribed to 14 channels which is not a lot. I Through Wayward Wags, we are subscribed. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we have personal accounts. Because like I said, I watch stuff I like to watch. She so, watches stuff yeah. she likes to watch. And then sometimes we'll... I'll be watching it on my private account if it's a YouTuber, on, on an RV YouTuber. And then I'll like, well, well, I'm on my personal account. I'll go over and I'll comment. I'll log on Wayward Wags and comment on Wayward Wags. So yeah. if they see that it's me. Yeah. Well, tell us what you think. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you think the RV niche is full. Yeah, it's it's getting it's, it's, it's we're it's, running out of elbow room. <laughs> it's getting a little tight. <laughs> but don't let that discourage you from and even even if you think it's full and you want to do it, you want to have fun, do it. Yeah, don't I mean, let it stop you. Fun is should be your main motivator. Yeah, and it is for ours. And we had no idea we'd, we'd get to a th thousand or ten thousand subscribers. Yeah. I was happy to get to a thousand. I was like, holy crap! Okay. There's a thousand people. <laughs> yeah, that just getting monetized was a huge deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so, um, but we definitely appreciate you watching it, and I'm yeah. we're glad that you do. Yes, please continue. Because <laughs> it helps us to help vets. Because that's our biggest thing, And that's thing our, too. our motivator. Yeah. yeah. And I will tell you our goal. Our goal is to raise as much money for veterans as possible. Mm -hmm. And it'd be nice if, if what we do keep, you know, eventually would fund our travels. Yeah. We're not there yet. But that would be nice. Yeah. That so would just be... Uh, icing on the cake to say yeah. you know but we that's not sit. what drives us yeah. to keep doing it but we don't want to sit here and pretend like we don't want to make any money no we do oh yeah <laughs> everybody likes to make money but we see it more on the aspect of the more we can make the more we can give away yeah and that's but i'm not going to do how to's to do it <laughs> yeah i know unfortunately for i love veterans but i'm not doing those man <laughs> If 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 the if it comes up and I, something I think I can fix or something so, that I, I if it's simple we easy yeah, yeah. but I'm not, we're not I'm not installing solar I'm not installing uh, battle born batteries no I'm not, we're not installing ripping a washer the belly dryer. off and mm -hmm. getting under there not redoing the flooring and I'm <laughs> not just, no we just don't have talent for that <laughs> I'll just buy a new art it costs way more to fix our our fix so <laughs> I'll just leave it to the pros yeah. But uh, let us know what you think. Um, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to mm -hmm. honor a fallen hero. And if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, uh, keep watching. And yes, everything yeah. else you need to know is down in the description. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.